today I have an exciting unboxing, a product that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a really, really long time and I'm so excited. I finally got it, it just arrived and we're gonna be unboxing. It is the Always Pan from Our Place. <laughs> straight in to the unboxing. Okay, so we're gonna open up the box first. I placed the order for the pan and it came with a frying rack attachment which I'll also open. The frying rack arrived a few days early and I was kind of confused like what was going on and if they forgot the pan. They didn't, it just came later. I'm based in the UK and the shipping took a few weeks. And in the States, I know also it does take a little bit of time. And the reason for that is because a while ago, I actually gifted my best friend a blue always pan as a housewarming gift. And I was keeping up on the tracking and it took a while to get there. But yeah, so let's unbox this and see what it looks like. I had to have a peek. <laughs> so I already tore off, it came with this like paper tape and you just tear it off like you would like when you get an Amazon parcel. Just pull that right off and it was really easy and simple. And then it just slides open like this and inside it says, welcome to our place. At our place we believe the strongest connections are made over a home cooked meal. First things first. This is what's inside the box. I just want to say it's packaged quite thoroughly. And firstly, you open it and the presentation is super nice. So to get this as a gift, I'd say, you know, like you don't really need to wrap it up because it's wrapped up very nicely in itself. Let's get the lid of the pan out. That is the first thing when you open the box and all you have to do is lift this and it kind of like comes right up. So this piece of cardboard is what was securing the lid into place. It was just in here. So that is it. There's no bubble wrap, which was very nice. And so here you can see is the lid. Quite thin actually, like, and a lot lighter than I thought. The knob on the lid is actually like almost matte and smooth, similar to when you get the Apple iPhone case at the Apple store. You know, they sell the ones that are like matte smooth, really nice. The color straight off the bat is gorgeous. And the inside is like a grayish color. I wouldn't say it's like totally gray. It's like a very warm gray, but um, it looks really nice. And it has some detailing here, which I don't know if it affects the cooking or how everything cooks. That's really nice. It also has this little arrow detail here. And the detail there basically just shows you where I think one of the spouts is. If you want to drain the pan, whatever's in the pan with the lid on, you can do that. So that's really handy. And yeah, so that's the lid. The kit also comes with a natural sponge. It's quite nice and fibrous, and it looks like it would definitely get the tough, tough to reach, tough to get stuff off. Comes with a little, what looks like a bookmark that tells you how you know, like a very quick way how to steam, boil, where to rest your spoon, how to twist the lid. Now the good bit, which is the pan, the actual pan itself. So I saw the one that I gifted to my best friend when I went to visit her. She lives in the States and I sent her a lovely blue always pan and she said to me that it's been amazing for her, it looks beautiful, it matches their style, it just worked. And I was so glad because I have been wanting a pan for myself, but the opportunity just arose for me to gift her one and I thought that was a perfect housewarming present and I'm so glad she loves it. So now I'm excited obviously to get my own and unbox it and show you and give it a whirl, try it out. So back to what's inside the box, which is the pan itself. So inside first, what happens is you take this like steamer basket out. So it says here, Nesting steamer basket. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see that rather than my face. Nesting steamer basket for dumplings, veggies, and more. And that, let me just say, that is super handy. And I actually have never gotten a pan, I've never gotten a pan that comes with like an attachment like that that you don't have to buy separately, which is amazing. And 
I really like that it has legs so you don't have to worry about balancing it and it has little handles so you can easily take the basket out of the pan and yeah you don't have to worry about grabbing it or you know handles on the side and I guess if you have the lid on you can just put the handles down so that is really cool let's get the pan out the actual pan itself is ah, here I'm so excited it looks gorgeous the details on it are really really nice the handle itself I'm not sure if this is focused but the handle itself is the same matte material or whatever it's made of is the same as the knob on the lid so that's really nice I've noticed though that the handle here is not the same so I'm wondering if this will actually get hot because the pan will get hot we'll have to see when I give it a try today and besides that the inside is a really really nice grayish color just like the lid it feels super nonstick. and on the back it has the Our Place logo and it also has some like little edge details around here which are quite nice to see on a pan like this which obviously is also very aesthetic. It has some nice weight to it. I think it would look really nice sat on my stove. And so it has this little kind of button here and that is so that you can grab the spatula. So this bag, what I was reading just now, says that it's a compostable bag. Ooh, so you can pop it in your compost and that is great. I think everything about the packaging has been basically 100% recyclable. So here's the spatula. As you can see, it has a little hole here in the middle and you can just take the pan and pop it on. It looks really nice and obviously that means that if this has anything on it like food or sauce that it doesn't get you know put down on the counter put down on the cutting board and make it messy it just stays in the pan and that's really nice. I like that. Let me just show you what the whole pan looks like before we give this a go on the stove. Put the steamer basket into the pan and that just sits there like that. Then we can grab the lid and pop that on. I think this looks beautiful. The color itself is absolutely stunning. Now we need to put it to the test, see how it does. Is it properly nonstick? I think we'll test it on an egg because you don't put any oil in the pan, you simply cook the egg. And then we can see if the handle gets hot, how nonstick it actually is, and put this pan to work. So let's do it. We are now by the stove and we're gonna put this pan to the test. I'm gonna take the lid off and here is the steaming tray and I don't need that to fry an egg. So let's go, we're putting it onto the stove. I'm gonna turn on the stove and get an egg out. We're gonna cook an egg, we're gonna try that because that supposedly is the one thing to show how nonstick the pan is. It's getting pretty warm. Ooh, yes, it's getting hot. It's getting hot quickly. So now let me grab an egg. So the egg looks like it's cooking well. Now I'm gonna pop the lid on so we can make sure that the top of the egg is also cooked. So that just goes on. I don't know if you can see here, but it looks like it's so nonstick that the egg is actually curling up from the pan while it's cooking. The handle that's not the matte, I guess heat resistant handle is on this side and it's made from the same material of the pan. I just went to touch it and this is scorching hot. So you do have to be careful. Let's check on the egg now though. I am looking right at the egg and it's looking like it's actually done. Now let's see what it's like to scoop it up. Oh my gosh, that, <laughs> that is so non-stick, it's actually scary. Like, how is it that non-stick? And look, how perfect is that egg? Oh my gosh. I think I would use oil because I like how an egg cooks when it's in oil, likewise with butter, but I mean, 
that's pretty darn perfect. So definitely passes the non-stick test like it says on the label. The other thing is that the pan, it looks clean as can be. Obviously I'm gonna wash this. Usually there's like residue, bits of the egg around the pan after I make it in a normal non-stick or even another pan that I have in general. Whereas this, there's literally nothing left. So I am super impressed and it cooked perfectly. There's still one more thing that I need to unbox, which is the frying deck. I'm gonna open this and on top is a little card from our place that actually, oh, it opens. And it says, hello fearless fryer, welcome to a bold new world of frying with your fry deck. So here is the fry deck. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna get out the way, so hopefully it can focus on the product. It is made from a similar material as the lid, so I do think this would potentially get hot when it's put on the pan. Inside the box, there is also, if I open this up, a handy pair of cooking chopsticks. So let's get these open. They are just like this, and let's open them up. Everything is super easy to open. There hasn't been anything that I've been struggling with. I say that, I'm, I think only one chopstick came out. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. I thought I would just show you, here's the pan. It's still a little bit hot from cooking the egg, but the fry deck just basically pops on. And obviously there are the slats so that if you put anything here, it can just drip down back into the pan. So that concludes our unboxing mini test and a little bit of a review of the Always Pan. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments below. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!